<laughs> I can't lift my head. Hello. Today, we're cutting some walnut logs at the mill. Let's get ripped. Why do I love black walnut live edge boards so much? Because it's gorgeous. Hello, black walnut, Juglins Niagara. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure I butchered that. It is the darkest of the hardwoods. It is valued and loved for its strength, stability, and rich, vibrant color. For wood and furniture lovers, Walnut is a dream. It is easy to work with and it finishes up nice and smooth. The sapwood could be a pale gray or a white. Then it contrasts with different shades of brown, dark brown or chocolate brown. The contrast is stunning. You'll see the grain pattern. It could be wavy. It also could be straight. With proper care, your walnut boards will not warp or cup either. Walnut wood can be used for furniture, gun stocks, cabinets, carvings, flooring, and my favorite, charcuterie boards. We want all the Mackenzies to have a little piece of memory from the farm. So we're gonna make everyone a charcuterie board. Is walnut wood expensive? Yeah, it's expensive. It's slow growing and it's scarce, hard to find. There's also the cost of manual labor. You have to cut it, sticker it, store it. To get it down to the moisture content you want, you have to kiln dry it. So yeah, there's a lot of handling. <laughs> Let's roll the montage. Let's check out John Boo's and company for the hardness of wood. Hardness is reported according to the Jenka hardness scale, which measures the amount of pressure required to mar a wood sample. Rock maple is the hardest of these four hardwoods, about 15% harder than red oak, which ranks second. Black walnut ranks third in hardness, about 20% below red oak. Cherry is another 5% or so softer than walnut. So as you select your wood, you want to think about hardness. Previously on the Mackenzie Homestead, we cut down this walnut log and it did not go as planned. Oh. Start watching here. Whoop. Why aren't you clicking? Clickety-click, clickety-click.